Hey, Dr. Chris Jones here, and welcome to A Scene to Lead Short. These episodes are designed to give you a little boost, something to reflect on, and some tools to help you increase your ability to effectively support, engage, and empower not just yourself, but those around you through intentional practices so that you create an environment where everyone, but especially you, reaches their greatest level of success. Let's get to getting better. So here you sit, waiting for me to get to the good part when you get that diploma and move on to the rest of the night's festivities. I mean, really, who wants to listen to some words from a guy who graduated 35 years ago? I'm not going to speak for long, I promise. But if you bear with me, just for a moment, humor me. I hope to share something with you that I have come to understand since those days of analog clocks, one phone connected to the wall in the house, a TV. I had to get up to change between the eight or so channels we had and paying a dollar for a gallon of gas. You've learned a lot of academic things over the past 12 years in school. You've also learned a lot of other things. Tonight, I hope to add to the other things to help you be as successful as possible. So as promised, the advice. The two things I want you to realize as you move forward both come from Viktor Frankl. First, Forces beyond your control can take away everything you possess except one thing, your freedom to choose how you will respond to the situation. You cannot control what happens to you in life, but you can always control what you will feel and do about what happens to you. Life is sometimes funny, odd, sad, or great. Sometimes all at the same time, oftentimes having nothing to do with your actions. Much of what causes it is beyond what we can control. So keep your focus on what is in your control and how you respond to every situation. Cut everything else loose. That mindset and action will help you deal with disappointment, enjoy success, and make you a master of your path. It's actually quite simple, but very hard and only accomplished through a lot of practice. The second point has to do with that practice. Don't aim at success. The more you aim at it and make it the target, the more you are going to miss. Success should be the unintended side effect of one's dedication to a process that continually improves their situation. We often fall into the trap of seeing someone make it big and think they were lucky or that it all happened at once. We miss all the small steps that led up to it, the ones that weren't accompanied by cheers but instead missteps, the difficult times that created doubt and ability to control outcomes or even entire dreams, the times that once put together with their lessons show the bigger picture, how those seemingly unattached moments of discipline in routines and actions actually teach something if we are willing to learn. The overall lesson of these two points is that success in life is mostly about control, who has it, and what they do with it. The rest is about the consistent small steps that keep you moving forward regardless of any failures along the way. So focus on what you are in control of and be consistent in your practice, using both to create a life not only worthy of who, not what you are, but of who you can become. Class of 2024, I offer you my most heartfelt congratulations. Be who you want to be not what others define for you. Take control and set your own destination. I'm certain it will be great. Like I said, be purposeful. So be sure to take action on something you heard here today. Again, thanks for listening to the Scene to Lead podcast. Connect with me at drchrissj at gmail.com or catch me on all the socials by visiting my link tree, Dr. C.S. Jones. That's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash D-R-C-S Jones. Now, go have a successful week.